I'm the Argentinosaurus. That's Argentinosaurus. I'm trying to hide. <laughs> oh no, this is not a good place to hide. You see, I'm playing hide and seek with my friends, but I don't think I'm very good at it. I am from what is now known as Argentina. That is in South America. Ugh. This is hopeless. I am too big to hide. That's what you get for being over 70 metric tons and 23 meters long. I am even longer than three school buses. Mmm, yum! As a herbivore, I love eating plants. That bush looks too delicious. What are you doing? You're eating my hiding place. I am sorry I get so hungry. I need to eat 45 kilograms of food a day. And all this running and hiding, well, it just made me hungrier. Aha, got you both. You two are really bad at this game. I think I'm just too big for this game, but maybe we can play something else. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Supersaurus, and welcome to my home here in the late Jurassic period 150 million years ago. My name means super lizard because I'm so big, one of the biggest dinos ever. You gonna eat those? Yes, Charlie, I'm going to eat those. We have to eat all day long. It's the only way we can grow this big. Uh, I feel faint, I'm wasting away. <laughs> I need to eat something. But right now, I have to find a pond or river so my herd can have a drink after we mow this field. Uh, water, water, I need water. I'm 43 meters long and 16 meters high. That's supersized, all right. <sighs> so thirsty, I'm delirious. Mother, is that you? No, Charlie, I'm not your mom. She's back there with the rest of the herd. My neck is really long, but I don't lift it up high as it's too heavy, but it's perfect for pushing through the trees to find more food or, hey, water. Hey, don't take it all. It's my turn. Come on, move over. Don't worry, Charlie. There's plenty for everyone. I'm gonna tell the herd I found water. We live in what is now Western Colorado in the USA. Hey everyone, there's water in the conifer forest over there. You gonna eat those? Oh, hi there. I'm the Belosaurus, one of the most ferocious of all the dinosaurs. Achoo! Excuse me. Anyway, I'm one of the fiercest of all the carnivores. That's a meat-eating dinosaur, even though you probably haven't heard of me. This is the late Cretaceous period, about 75 million years ago. By that point, a lot of dinosaurs had already established their reputations, like Tyrannosaurus rex, Triceratops, Allosaurus, you know, the really famous guys. It's harder for me to get noticed, but that's not because I'm not ferocious. I have a pretty wicked roar. Want to hear it? <laughs> You'll have to pardon me. I've got a really, really bad cold. <laughs> One of the things that's unique about abelosauruses is that our heads are mostly empty. You see, our heads are really big with large holes all through it called fenestra, which is great for smelling things like <laughs> afternoon snacks. But it also means that my head is like one giant nasal cavity. And so when I get a cold, it's a whopper. We abelosauruses are found primarily in this part of what is now South America. I hate it when I get one of these colds because there's only one thing you can do. 
And that's take my mom's advice. Get some rest and drink plenty of fluids. I have to get well soon because I want the whole world to know about Abelosaurus. Uh, uh, I'm okay. All right, team. Here we are in the late Jurassic period, 150 million years ago. You know me. I'm Coach Stegosaurus. You can say my name. Stegosaurus! 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 That's the herbivore spirit? Okay, let's go over our equipment. Get in line. Great, let's see those plates. Now, that's not really enough armor, but they do make the carnivorous dinosaurs think twice about taking a bite out of us. These plates actually let us be warmer or colder, depending on how much we point them at the sun. Hey, an Allosaurus. Let's see those stagomizers. Yes, those stagomizers at the end of our tails are the real deal. Those spikes are up to 1.2 meters long. And we need them where we're from, what is now known as the Midwestern United States. In fact, we're Colorado State Fossil. All right, team. No one's gonna mess with us, right? Stegosaurus! 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 Rah, rah, rah! We're pretty big, the size of a bus. Are you ready, Stegosaurus? That's great, team. Stegosaurus! Stegosaurus! Well, hello there. I've never seen you before. Looking around the late Jurassic forest, are we? Looking for a big dinosaur? Maybe like me? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm Diplodocus. Diplodocus. You found me. I'm kind of hard to miss, actually. Hmm, <laughs> I smell something yummy. Is it in here? Sigh. As you can see, I'm pretty big and it's hard for me to get into tight places, but that's why I have this really long neck. I love eating plants, all kinds of them. That's why they call me a herbivore. But being this big doesn't always make it easy. Hmm, how can I describe how big I am? Have you seen my herd? They're easy to spot. Imagine, they're all big like me. I've been looking for them all afternoon. It's like they've been hiding from me. You know what else comes in handy? My front legs. See how they're shorter than the back ones? Having these types of legs helps me keep my balance. Watch! I also have these cool pig-like teeth that grow forward. They help me strip all sorts of plants and swallow them whole. Mmm, whatever that is, it smells so yummy. Hey, maybe that's my herd. Hey, what's the... Surprise! 